All right, guys, in this video, we're going to take the Lifesaver Liberty bottle that you see here. We've already primed it in another video, and so it's ready to go. We're going to take the hose attachment here, and the directions, it says that this piece right here, I'll show you a close-up. This is the piece that goes in the water. And then you have a float right there that'll control the depth. So I have my sink halfway filled up. What you, what you don't want when you put this in a stream or something, you don't want this going to the bottom to suck up any dirt. So you want to set this float just deep enough so this little pre-filter and suction area is going to be submerged. Okay, so we're going to put the float right about there. And then we're going to drop this in the sink and we're going to show you something pretty cool with this bottle and what it does because it is threaded to screw onto a Nalgene bottle. So a standard Nalgene bottle that you see here that I carry and I have one of my cap caps on it uh, that make it easier to drink out of. Um, the threads on the Nalgene bottle will line up with the threads on the Liberty filter. So as you can see here, I've got them mated together. And so now when I drop my line in the water source and I begin pumping, as long as my flow valve is on, which I'm going to turn on now, so that's the upward facing position. When I drop this in the water, this inline uh, line here, and I start my pumping, I should be able to fill this Nalgene bottle up with clean water, and now I have, I could drink right out of the Nalgene bottle. Um, let's see how that works. Give you guys a better shot here so you could see. You see that the sink is filled with water right here. And that piece is submerged and is floating. And now I'm going to set the camera back a little so you can get some, so you guys can see the water filling up, hopefully. So we will unscrew our pump. And so water is coming up the tube and it is now going into my Nalgene bottle as I pump. Get you guys a better shot of this. Oops. Hopefully you can see that. See the water filling up here, guys? It's almost halfway full already. It just pulled out of the sink, but once I submerge this again and continue pumping, All right, guys, for the purposes of this video, just give you a close up here. This bottle is three quarters full. It didn't take long. Again, there's my piece that has to remain submerged. There's my float and that's adjustable on this tube. And um, the bottom portion is in the base of the bottle, which you can see here. That was that little, when we did the intro video, that was that little spout. I'll show you here. That's that little spout right there. 
and you can see it. So now what I'll do is I'll unscrew the bottle, the filter from the bottle, cap off my Nalgene, and now I've got my drinking water or for cooking, whatever I need uh, from the water source in a, another bottle. All I have to do is make sure that this bottle continues to have at least a half inch of water in it at all times, uh, preferably clean water, uh, to make sure that the membranes stay wet. Shut my flow valve off, cap it off, dry it up, lock the lid in place, the pump lid in place, and then this bottle is ready for its next episode. Wash out my hose here, wrap it up, put it back in the storage bag, and get it ready for the next outing. So that, guys, is how you use the attachment here. And there is another attachment, which I don't have, uh, that fills up a water bladder. It hooks to your water bladder. It goes from the top of this bottle right into the water bladder. And as you pump, the water goes straight into the bladder. So we're going to purchase that soon and then do another video filling up a Camelback water bladder. So that's it, priming and prepping the Liberty filter and also showing how to get water out of a water source with the hose attachment. Like this bottle because it can go onto a Nalgene bottle. Again, that's important. So if you carry a Nalgene, in conjunction with this, this doesn't have to be a plastic Nalgene, it can be a wide mouth stainless steel Nalgene, it should still fit. Uh, and in conjunction, you've got uh, a great water kit. So let me know what you think, guys. Questions, comments. Uh, Anthony signing off. Stay ready and more water videos to come.